This will show you the basics of easy copying, cutting, pasting, and undoing on your keyboard. You have four buttons in a row on the bottom of your keyboard that are very powerful when combined with the command key. Most of you know how to copy and paste by choosing edit, copy, or edit, paste. If I'm in a Word document, this is how I might do it. If I have this sentence and I want to copy it over, I can highlight it and go to edit, copy, put my cursor where I want it to go and choose edit, paste. Now I could have done that much quicker by using a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to highlight this, hit command C on my keyboard, and come down here and hit command V. And I do that by pressing command and keeping it down while I press the C key and then press the V key. Now if I want to move this text completely, I might just want to cut it out instead of copying it. So here I would go to edit, cut, and it goes away. And now I can do my edit, paste, and now it's here instead. And again, I could have done that with the keyboard shortcut. Highlight, Command X for cut, and Command V for paste. And if you ever forget those, a quick glance up here will show you. Here where it says cut, you'll see over here, it has this little squiggly symbol, which means Command plus an X. Copy, squiggly plus C, paste, Command plus V. These are the three that you'll use most often. Cut, copy, and paste. Now a lot of you have seen me quickly undo things and you'll notice this one up here. Undo, Command Z. If you just want to undo the last thing you did, hit Command and then Z. And this will go back and back and back. It'll continue to undo things until we're back to the way we started with a blank page. Now these simple commands work in almost every program. So here in GarageBand, if I want to copy this track over, I'm going to highlight it, Command C, put my playhead where I want it, and hit Command V. And there you go, now I have two of them. Same thing here, if I want to cut this Mastermind track, I'm going to do Command X, now it's gone, put my playhead where I want it, Command V, now it's back. Now if I decide I want to undo that, I can use that Command Z undo feature to keep putting it back the way it was. Try these out on your own, they'll save you a lot of time.